All right, we're Seagulls and we're from London. Yeah, we're a four-piece guitar band, uh, indie band with pop sensibilities, I'd say. Uh, we've, we've been friends since school and, and uh, yeah, we've been playing music ever since. Where are we isolating? Uh, we've mostly, well, I've been isolating at home in the Midlands. Yeah, me too. I'm at my family house in the Midlands too. Nice. I'm on the third moon of Jupiter. Oh, no, a, log, a log cabin, Titan, big fan. No. I, heard, I heard it's nice there this time of year. It's, it's okay. There's also a <laughs> pandemic here, but a different one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just in Peckham, so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, what new hobbies were we taking up during lockdown? Um, Andrew? I've been trying to learn trumpet, but I'm pretty bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> when the live shows are back, Andrew's going to support us and play the trumpet. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a recital. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing we're missing most in lockdown is definitely playing live, you know, connecting with all our fans, going to all the shows over the summer. So, yeah, that's, that's the most painful thing for sure. 100%. 100%. Yeah, I mean, we just we missed out on our biggest tour yet, uh, which was really a real shame because, you know, to have to delay anything really sucks. But hopefully we'll come back kicking and fighting after this is over. <laughs> what? And, and, and making music. And making <laughs> music. Openly playing live. Yeah. The thing um, we're going to do when we get our lockdown is meet up and rehearse our debut album, which is called Open Up Your Head. Um, and it's going to be a big reward for us because it's, it's like full of like personal stories. And, uh, and I just think we love playing live together and we love playing those songs and we just can't wait. And go to the pub. Is there anything we won't take for granted again? I mean, I don't think we took this for granted, but just being able to, to be like face to face with our fans is something that, we're definitely like itching to do again and it's, it's been a great ex like a chance to explore different ways to interact with fans which we've loved and it's been a bit able, uh, great to be able to establish a more personal connection with everyone like over these instagram like questions or like watching films together and doing these sessions it's been great but it's not going to compare to when we can like actually stand in a room with our with all these people you know one to say we've got through this and then two to celebrate this awesome album that we're looking forward to releasing uh one film that i actually re-watched i think the guys have all watched this as well as the uh supersonic uh, about o oasis is that yeah. an incredible film about the history of guitar music more than anything it's just this is kind of inspiring to to see how they, they came up and it's, it's something that we obviously aspire to in a lot of ways sure yeah, we it makes just you want to start a band when you watch it doesn't it yeah we definitely. hope like tours go a bit smoother <laughs> than that yeah yeah <laughs> no, no well, fights on the ferry yeah yeah <laughs> fights on the ferry that's a good second album name there you go <laughs> second album yeah nice. it's at least ep isn't it <laughs> what kind of records have we been listening to in lockdown i mean it's not out yet but the heim album like all the songs they've released for it so far have been awesome and quite varied <laughs> so that's been really exciting to to kind of listen to that a song at a time as it comes out and I'm really excited to hear the rest of it. I've also been listening to an artist called M Maud Latour. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. She has a really good song called Furniture that I've been listening to quite a lot. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess like there's one track that I've been playing loads, which is Beautiful Child by um, Fleetwood Mac, which is just like, just a super nice, like personable story or whatever from Stevie Nicks. So I've been... Very current. They've got a lot of stories to with Mac. That's what I think why people love them so much is that yeah, like, like listening through an album is just listening to like tales and things. Yeah, uh, I, there's one album by a band called uh, Sorry, uh, a particular track called Star Starstruck. Uh, I think they just got like a, a great sound, and it's like it, it, it's, it's it's not exactly like a summer album, but it's like it's, it's moody and cool. And, this summer uh, album maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah it's a 2020 summer album like full of despair yeah but, uh, <laughs> a sorry summer album yeah um stuck indoors keep exercising whatever you can squats i don't do them but you can remember to feed your <laughs> fish talk to friends is yeah it's just great yeah. keeping in touch with people read if you can yeah i can't 
I can't. Not if you, if, yeah, if I can't. can't read. That's, that's can't very read. insensitive. You, you, you've you've read the first five pages of <laughs> a Christmas Carol or whatever. <laughs> 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 it was, uh, it was, By the time uh, you get to the fifth and, page, you've forgotten the first. You've got to go back again. <laughs> yeah, I've read, I've, I've read I've, the first five pages of every Dickens book <laughs> <laughs> over, over the last later. ten years. Yeah, it's taken me ten years. <laughs> 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 you'll, get there, you'll get there eventually. 